Hello and welcome back to this channel. So today's video is going to be about how to create some holiday themed gift tags in Adobe Fresco. So let's just get started. Click on custom size and make sure you're selecting print and then we choose A4 size. The reason we are choosing A4 is because we'll be printing things on an A4 sheet and I'm going to change this to inches. There's no particular reason for that, but I just think that it'll be nicer if it's in inches than pixels. So I'll click on A4 and let's just get started. The first thing we're going to do is create a tag shape. Click on my new layer and go to fill tool and color it with some color. It doesn't matter which color you want to choose. Uh, you could do anything that you want, but make sure that you choose a color which you'll not be using for your gift tags. Then it'll be much easier. So let's make a vector fill. That's good. Let's click on new layer. And now we're going to make the tag shapes. So there are different ways in which you can make this tag shape. But my method is going to be that I'm going to go to the shape tool, click again. And if you're not on square, make sure you're on square. And let's increase this size and decrease this size and get an idea of how your tag shape should be. And we're going to decrease this size so that it fits in here. So I want to put at least four of them here. So now this depends on the number of tags that you want in your A4 sheet. So if you feel like four is too little, like the tags are going to be too huge, then make sure you make this rectangle smaller and fit in more rectangles right next to each other. But for this tutorial, I'm going to make sure that I have like four rectangles so that I don't have to draw out a lot of tags. And also because the video is going to be much shorter. So once you have that ready, go to your tool and click on white or any color that you want. If you're too worried that your size might be a little too small, a little too big to fit in its artboard, don't worry. I'm going to provide a template which you can bring in using your image option here. And then you can add it to one of the layers and use it as a template to create these rectangles. So once you have that, I'm just going to click on fill and click on vector. Once it's ready, go back and click on any of the brushes. I'm just selecting a vector brush. So now is the time that we create a tag shape. So one of the easier ways that I use is basically go to the eraser tool and just delete off the ends. But I know that not everybody is comfortable doing that because they might think that uh, it might not be uniform. So for those people, first of all, go to your settings, go to your app settings, and now go to input and in here, click on touch. And if you scroll down, you'll see something called a snap line. Make sure it is turned on. And now we'll go back here and we'll choose something bright color so that it's very visible. And obviously go to your brush tool. You can use any brush tool. I'm just using basic round vector brushes. And now we'll make some lines to use as guides. Now let's go to a new layer. Now about this distance, click and draw a line and keep holding the pen until it becomes a straight line. And now you adjust it so that these two are parallel to each other. And we're going to do the same thing over here. And I think my tag shape would be nice if it's somewhere here and here somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line again. Don't worry if it's not straight. It's going to be straight. This I think is too much of a distance from the edge. So I'll undo that. And I think this must be a better option. So let's do that right there and make one here as well. It should be just equidistant so that, you know, they have a bit of a uniformity. And now all you have to do is join these two points. So again, I'm using a straight line and I'll just draw like this, click and hold so that it goes and coincides over there. And the same thing here. Now I'll go back to the tag or the rectangle layer go to the eraser tool and make sure you don't keep this too high because you want to be able to control what you're erasing. Don't worry, we'll fix it once we remove the red lines. Okay, that looks fine from here, but we have to check it. So I'll just click on that and click on uncheck. And this is your tag shape and you can see there's a bit of a rough edge, which I'm going to go here and reduce the size. Okay, so your first stack shape is ready and now it's all about duplicating it across the boards. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead, click on this and click on duplicate layer. So it makes one more copy. So let's just click and then drag it in and um, make it somewhere here. So make sure you have some enough space between the two because then you'll be able to cut them very easily. And also if the design is overflowing, it won't be a problem. Now duplicate again, just click on done, duplicate again and transform. And we're going to bring it down here as well and click on done. And now I'll go ahead and click on select multiple and select these three things and then click on three dots here and click on merge selected. Now they're all on one layer. Click and duplicate layer. Now we can go ahead and duplicate it one more time here. Merge these two. Click and merge down. 
and click on duplicate layer transform and we're going to move this here so that they all fit together like this now that we have our tag shapes ready it's time to start drawing so what i'm going to do is i'll go ahead and bring in my color palette if you want the same color palette i'll leave the link in the description box below okay so my color palette is here as well and now let's start drawing so what we're going to do first is go ahead and add our colors to all these individual tag shapes so let's go ahead to the fill tool and go to color palette and i think my first one is going to be somewhat lighter in color so darker in color so i'll go to that one and color that that color and uh, let me go ahead and do that i think i'll make this a bit darker red this one and i'm just going to merge this down so that it'll be much easier all on single layer Feel free to choose your own color. You don't have to follow what I'm doing. So I think I have gotten all my colors ready. So you don't have to choose this in advance. You can do one by one as you're drawing out the cards or the tags. Once we have this, we are not going to disturb this layer. This is really, really important because we'll use this later. So we are not going to disturb this layer at all. So you can actually go ahead and lock it if you want. And now click on the new layer and we'll start drawing. So first of all, let's start off with this. I'm going to go ahead and click on my shapes and make sure it's set to circle. And you know, it's somewhere here. So I'll bring it over here and decrease the size so that it fits in here nicely somewhere in the center. And let's make this white. Let's just make it a vector fill. So everything is going to be vector. And once you have filled it out, go back to your vector brush. And now I'm just going to draw some stars or basically it's just snow. You can reduce the size of the brush to make it really small. Also, when you're drawing out the tags, you should remember one thing. There's going to be a punch hole here, something like this. So make sure your artwork does not cover that area. Like it's okay with these dots because it doesn't matter. But if you're having some text or something like that, so make sure you leave out this space empty so that you can punch a hole in it and uh, attach it to your gifts or something like that. So let's go ahead and select this color now. And I will go to text tool and click and let's bring it down here. And I want to write something like Merry Christmas or Happy Holiday or something like that. But I want the font to be a little festive. So I'll go to more fonts. So if you don't have this more fonts, it's because you have, don't have access to Adobe fonts. Don't worry, you can use any of the fonts that's provided here. It um, does not matter really. And I'm just going to type this so that I know how it looks like when I'm choosing the font. Merry Christmas <laughs> and style it, it and let's go and make sure this is center not that one I meant the whole of it I don't know why I did that so everything is in center let's go ahead and place it here and we want the text to be a little bigger something like that and let's choose some other font so I'm going to choose this font called as gratitude script pro regular so if you don't have it choose any of the fonts that you have it shouldn't be a problem and I'll go back here and uh, it's regular so that's fine and everything is okay except the font size maybe could be a little bigger and once you're done click on this layer and click on your brush and your tag should be ready so that was a very simple tag so i'm going to draw some simple ones so that it's easy for you to create and produce as well so let's go to the next one but make sure you put it on a new layer as usual and in this layer i'm just going to go to the vector brush and i'll choose white and we're going to make some chevron prints so it's just like this so when you're drawing this make sure you don't go on the next tag shape you, you can be in the black space here but not on the next tag shape and the other color i'm going to choose is somewhat green you could choose any color as you want and the brush size is also optional like you can keep it at anything you want it doesn't matter and a bit more white and i think i'm going to stop it at that i'm just going to go ahead and draw some clusters of snow you can actually reduce the size. It's too big, I guess. And let me put some here to give that nice effect that there's something creeping up from the corner. Okay, so your second tag is ready as well. And the next one, we're going to draw some snowflakes. But before starting drawing, let's go to the text tool. Oops, a new layer if you want to. Go to the text tool and we're going to click 
And now we'll turn this around so that it faces 90 degrees like this. So there's one thing which you have when you're turning it around is you can see the angle and make sure it stops at 90 degrees. It also snaps a bit so it's much more helpful. And now for the font, I'm going to use something simple, uh, something like Arial or something like that. And let's click on board, caps, two, and then click, click. We want the underscore, maybe this much written from click click make sure they both match but usually it doesn't match because uh, to and from have a different uh, text width so once you do that click on style text let's just quickly look at this and click on this keyboard again and once again so that it gets highlighted and let's go ahead and keep it somewhere here if you feel that's too big you can you're always welcome to reduce the size or maybe a little smaller that should be good and once you are ready, click on your brush tool. And now we'll draw some snowflakes. So my snowflakes are pretty simple. They're just crosses, crosses, and then like this. And then make extra ones here. That's a simple, simple snowflake. So I'm going to make sure that I draw some which go outside the artboard. Like I told you, it creates a very nice effect when you cut it out. And let's draw some in various sizes. That looks good. And I think maybe one more here, but very small one. You get the idea. And maybe here, I'm just gonna draw a white line. Okay, for the next one, I'm going to click on new layer again. It's okay if you draw everything on a single layer. It doesn't matter because we'll be merging it later. But the reason I always choose new layer because it becomes very easy to control, especially if you're transferring this one to Illustrator. I like to keep my options open. That's why I make it on different layers. But here, as you can see, I made these two on the same layer. That's okay. Um, mistakes happen. <laughs> so let's go to the next one. And I'm going to choose some dark pink here or a maroon i guess and let me reduce the size a bit and i'm going to quickly draw some leaves like this i should have warned you that this is going to be a really long tutorial because we are drawing so many of them but i plan to make at least some of them very simple let's see how that goes Okay, let's draw a gift box here. A square or a rectangle. And then obviously angle, angle, angle. I hope you know how to draw a box. If not, it's okay. You can just copy what I'm doing. Make a bow like that. And let's make a couple of heart shapes. And then we're going to add some text. So click on that and click and let's first type in so that we know what we are doing and made style text again, click on that, make all caps. And um, so for the font, I think I'm going to go to more fonts and in here under typewriter, I have something which I like that is Coronator regular. And I think I'm going to use that now click on this and you should have that. That looks good. Now I'm going to go to this layer and I want to change up this layer a bit because um, I see that it's reflecting a lot. So let me go ahead and uh, um, probably choose this. And I don't think we have that. So that's okay. Okay. So I just realized that I don't like this color much, but I actually like something like this color a lot better. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my fill tool and um, kind of fill these things up go to text layer you can just click on the text layer and then you can choose the color to make the text look the way you want okay all right so our second one is also ready you can actually put a for you here as well so let's go ahead to the next one and this is going to be super simple just text so click on new layer and click to create this and this one we're going to make almost a black and uh, we're going to go ahead and write happy holidays in here that's it that's all we're going to do and you can style text. You can actually give some very calligraphy kind of a thing as well, like happy holidays. 
I'm just going to go ahead and select that. Give us happy holidays. Oops, that is all caps. So we're going to go ahead and change that thing first. Uncheck that so it's all like that. And uh, let's increase the size a little bit and put it right in the center. And you can actually go ahead and choose some other color if you want, like um, reddish, something like that. And now let's go to the vector brush. And if you want, you can make some dots like we did earlier. Or you can just leave them as it is. It doesn't matter. Okay, moving on to the next one. Let's make some Christmas trees. So go on a new layer, click and choose one of these uh, dark greens that you have. And you just draw some triangles like this. Okay, and then let's go ahead and choose a brown. That looks good. And now it's time for some snow. So obviously we're going to put in some snow. You can put some on the trees as well, like this. Okay, so your one of the tag is ready. And for the next one, we're going to draw a huge Christmas tree. So let's go ahead and choose a red color, any red that you want. Go ahead like that. And we'll draw a Christmas tree. I know Christmas tree is not red, but green. But we're going to go ahead and draw that and make sure you cover the entirety of the artboard. Click on your full tool and click on fill. And next, we'll add some lights. Go to your yellow and oops, your brush tool and draw the lights out. And obviously, we'll take some orange. It's time to add a text. So click, click. Rotate this 90 degrees and you can choose any font that you want or color that you want and choose black and I'll make this very normal, maybe uh, something like this, click, style text and we definitely want this much smaller, Oops. click again so that it's selected and we'll make it much smaller and let's Put it in here and see how big we want this to be. Okay, that looks good to me. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on the brush tool again so that it's done. And the next one, we're going to draw a, a snowy landscape, but I don't know why I have this. So I'll go back here and I have to unlock it. Once I unlock it, I'll go here and select a red, maybe orange, I guess, and go to my fill tool and draw this as orange and go here anywhere and click on a new layer and let's choose white for this and go to your brush tool we're gonna draw a house that's simple house like this and obviously a tree here something like this obviously draw our trunk here and we want some snow and we want to draw a window and we'll draw some snow dripping or, you know, icicles. That and we want to fill this white. We also want this white. And you obviously have to draw snow now. There you go. Your another landscape is ready. For the next one here, we'll click on new layer. And we're going to draw a snowman because we haven't drawn one until now. So let's go ahead and make his fat tummy. Oops. And a head. And use the fill tool to fill both of these. Let's go ahead and go to our orange color. Go to your brush tool. And we're going to make a carrot nose for him. And then let's select the black. And we're going to make some buttons. And obviously an eye. And reduce the size if you want. And we'll make a hand. And then we'll obviously add a to and from. And then we'll style text and we'll make this white and then bring it up, but make sure it's not too above. And we'll reduce this size and keep it somewhere here. Probably put some other font and just use this font and then increase the size a bit. Moving on to the next one. So for this one, I'm going to draw some Christmas themey things. So let's go ahead and pick a dark red. And in this corner, I'm going to draw some blobs. Oops. 
Do that and here as well. And now let's go ahead and choose a dark green and we'll draw our leaves. So we'll click on new layer and bring it below the, the red layer and we'll draw a leaf like this. Do the same here as well and use your fill tool to fill these things in and I will choose a light green go back to the brush tool and make a line like this and now it's time to add some text so go ahead text tool click and rotate it 90 and obviously we want this something different color you could also give it green if you want uh, make it darker and let's type this And now you can choose some other font. And let's reduce the font size a little bit. And you can always put it wherever you want. So we just have two more left and then we'll be done with this. So for the next one, I'm going to go ahead and click on text tool, but click on new layer. And now you can click here and we're gonna make this white and type in handmade and style text, wait a minute. So I'm going to go to more fonts and in here I'll choose something called a shaded and we have so many different kinds here so you can use any of these that you want and I think I'll use this called blockhead OT plane and go back here and go to blackface so that it's like this and increase the size and I also want it all caps so all caps and maybe decrease the size a little bit and place it right in the center. So this is going to be very simple and next I'm going to the brush tool that I have and I'll choose some yellow color and write with love. Choose the size of the brush to match your lettering skills. So this is ready too. So the last one is very simple again. I'm going to click on a new layer and let's go ahead and click on the white thing here. Now with the brush tool, I'm just going to go ahead and make some elements which are like very Christmas themed. Or you can make socks like that. And obviously some cherry kind of a thing. Or whatever this is and them stars make sure to always add elements towards the corner of your tag because that gives it a very nice look when you cut it out okay this looks so busy maybe you don't want to make it this busy but that's okay okay so once you have all these ready there's only one thing that i'm concerned about is this one because it'll be really hard to cut this shape because the paper color is going to be white as well so what we'll do is probably change that color a little bit because if it's your first time you're going to have a hard time you know figuring out where the areas are. So I'll just go ahead and color it a little different from white. And now that you have all these ready, so it's time to actually merge all these layers. So what I usually do is I duplicate this one so that I have a copy of the original artwork so that I can go ahead and edit it. So if you want, you can merge everything in this single layer, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's nice to keep it for future reference. So I'll go back to my main page and in here, click on these three dots and click on duplicate. Now we'll open the duplicated version, the copy of it. Make sure you're not on the tag layer or on the background layer. Click and select, select multiple. Now we're gonna go ahead and click all of these things. Not the layer which has the color palette. Click and say merge selected. So it's going to make sure that it selects all of the things and puts it in one single layer. So now we'll just click on this layer that is make clipping mask and now everything gets cut off and you have the perfect tags ready. So now you can go ahead and disable this thing and also go ahead and disable the 
fill that we have as a background color and you can export this as a png if you have a cutting machine like a cricket or something you can use that to cut these things because now you don't have a background otherwise you can just print it on an a4 sheet and cut it with your hand you can export this as publish and export export as and make sure you give png if you don't want the background and this is how you create your gift tags very easily in adobe fresco uh, i really hope you like this video and the examples i've shown are very simple you can do so many more things with this you can create your own designs and this need not be for christmas or you know holiday season you could use it as a birthday present or attached to your wine bottles or something like that i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get informed every time i post a new video and uh, i guess i'll see you in the next video then bye bye